As you probably know, our favorite constant lighting system is the Westcott Flex Kit. They're super portable, they produce almost no heat, and they're incredibly bright. I'm actually being lit by them right now. Well, just a few days ago, some brand called Falcon Eyes sent us their version of a flexible LED panel. And I have to say, this thing is pretty impressive, especially for the price. <laughs> Now, probably the worst part of this entire kit is the bag. This thing's an absolute joke. You're probably going to want to immediately throw it away, but the contents of the bag are actually pretty impressive. The panel itself is fabric, it's flexible, it comes in this tube, and you can use it without any sort of frame if you want to. We actually stuff ours inside of soft boxes at times. But if you want to mount it directly to a light stand, you can easily use this included bracket. To soften the light, you can use this included soft box. I absolutely love how small this thing folds down and using Velcro, you can quickly install it onto the light. This kit also comes with a grid, which is something I know we will use in the studio all the time. The ballast with this light is about the same size as the Westcott version. However, you have to use this gigantic included power brick as well. So when you combine everything together, it is significantly larger than the Westcott version. My biggest complaint with this system has to do with the length of cable from the ballast to the light itself. I think that they expect you to hang the ballast from the light stand. This is actually what they show in their sales imagery, which is a little strange to me. Maybe you could use it as some sort of uh, counterbalance or weight so you don't have to use a sandbag. But for me personally, I think it's a little strange to be dangling uh, really expensive electronics off of a light stand using this little plastic string that's included. Now this panel is incredibly bright, but if you compare it square footage wise to the Westcott version, it's only half the power of a Westcott version. So for example, we have a two by two foot falconized panel. It produces the exact same amount of light as a one by two panel made by Westcott. To illustrate just how bright this panel is, I'm currently being lit by a small Felix LED light. We like these because they're really small and convenient to travel with, and they accept Profoto speed rings and other modifiers. However, if we turn on this panel, you can see just how much brighter it is, and it's significantly cheaper as well. This is a bicolor panel, meaning that you can shift the color of this panel without losing any of the lighting output. If you're accustomed to using gels on location or in the studio, having a light like this that can change color by itself on the fly is incredible to use. It's so much more convenient than having to tape gels onto the front of your lights. The other incredible feature of this light is that it comes with a wireless remote control. So not only can you change the light intensity over a distance without ever leaving your camera, you can also change the color of this light as well without having to go over and fiddle with the ballast itself. Now here's the best part of this entire system. This light with all of the attachments, the wireless remote control, it only cost $500. Now it's not going to be the name brand of Westcott. It's only going to give you half the power. It's not going to give you the lifetime warranty on the panels that Westcott does. But if you're looking for something that's relatively affordable, this might be an amazing option for you. Now I wanted to do some sort of studio test with this light to put in this review, but today is December 23rd and we are running out of time here, but I think I've come up with a plan. My wife and I, we have not yet had children and therefore we are a disappointment to both of our families. And I think our families are trying to shame us into having children by asking us to take a Christmas picture with our dog Leo. I was going to ask Patrick if he could take a quick shot of us later this afternoon before we leave to go see our families. But what I'm going to do now, I'm gonna give him a call and I'm going to actually get him to take the picture of us using this panel, but we need the shots taken outside. So let me see if I can get him to do this. Hey, uh, would you mind taking a picture of Katie and me um, in like an hour? <laughs> it's just like a Christmas picture or we just want something at the park. So this isn't really an outdoor type light. I think we'd use a speed light or a B1 99.9% .9 of the time if we're taking portraits outside, but this should be fun. Let's see if it works. Here's what we have to do, Patrick. You have to use this LED light panel to take a portrait of us outside. A photo. Yes, but a this still photo. The D50, why wouldn't I just have a strobe light? I know, it's ridiculous. Shouldn't we be doing a video review with a hot light? 
Yes, and it should probably be inside, but uh, we're kind of running out of time here at the end of the year. So, so let's This is the see. most untraditional review we could possibly do. It almost do. makes no sense at all. Um, and the other, the other problem, potential problem, is that I'm going to try to power this entire thing using this Vagabond. I turn it on in the studio and it, it turned on. So I have no idea if it's gonna last 10 seconds or 10 minutes or 10 hours. I didn't even know this thing still worked, but. Yeah, I don't think we've used it in like two years. Now, I've been the host of this video so far. You're gonna kinda have to take over. I need to model on this. So as a photographer, I get asked to take Christmas portraits all the time. It's not a big deal when I have to shoot other people, but when I have to shoot my own friends and family, it's kind of a pain. And now on top of that, I'm being asked to shoot this with a hot light. So my thought is, let me put them in a dark shaded area so that the light will actually do something and then I'll pick a pretty background that's probably properly exposed. I don't really know how this is gonna work, but let's test this out. So here's the first location that I think could work. We have these really cool trees that just give kind of an impressionistic painting look. I'm gonna shoot telephoto so that I can make the background really blurry. But as you see in the video, I think the background should be exposed properly, but I'm underexposed just enough that hopefully this hot light We'll be able to illuminate them correctly. Let's get them in here and see if this is gonna work. And Lee, you've directed enough people to know how this works, right? Yeah. And yeah. Katie, you've we been in enough happy. family portraits to know. I had how this to tickle works. Katie a lot. Yep. And then you gotta Leo. take control of your dog here. I know. That's that's gonna be the hard part. Leo's out of his mind. Leo, come here. Come here, buddy. Come All here. right. I like this background. It looks, I mean, it's properly exposed. We have some weird little twig up here, but maybe we can Photoshop that out. Too. Why are there stay, so many stay. components to this? Let me look at this. <laughs> I know. The I'm Vagabond gonna... is like the smallest part of it. Leo, come. I'm going to turn this on. There we go. So I, I also have there. color temperature. You, you, we can mess with color temperature too. Let's do a Some test shot here. Face. It's working. Apparently, I see it. I see it on your face. the battery might die, so I got to do this quickly. Very quickly. I'm going to take a bunch of these because you guys are looking so good. You got to make sure Leo's looking at the camera. We cannot deliver that to Katie's mom with Leo looking over there. Leo? Gosh, I would like more light though. What I think I'm gonna have to do here is I'm gonna side light you a little more so that I can get the light closer mm -hmm. because I can't get it from the front, but then I might have to have you guys angled towards the light maybe, okay. I don't know. Just as long as we look good. Leo, what are you doing? Come on. Come here, bud, bud. <laughs> so I'm going from ISO 200 to 640. So what I'm gonna do now that I got the photo that I think looks good is I'm gonna turn the light off to see what it's actually doing. All right, so this is the same exposure. Oh, my God. oh, that's a big difference. That's a big difference. Portrait Ooh. photographers everywhere. Sell your speed lights. You don't need those anymore. This is such a, an easier I system. Leo, no. <laughs> Leo, I have to talk to the camera. So in this situation, though, the background is brighter than you guys. Yeah. So if we didn't have this shade, I, this wouldn't work at all. So this photo, these trees, I don't know what this is, but it's got all, these, all this Spanish moss. It looks very wintry and kind of drab. I mean, it looks cool, but maybe we should get something that's a little more green with some of the Charleston, you know, oaks and everything. I like that. Why don't we just move over here and try to shoot a completely different background? Okay. So for the second shot, I've moved Katie, Lee, and Leo under this big oak tree, and I've positioned them in a way that I can shoot a horizontal shot and include another really interesting oak tree so that it looks a little bit more like Charleston. Like all family portraits, something has to go wrong. And of course, Leo has rolled what? Around in a bunch of dog yeah, crap? Yeah, he just rolled in dog poop. Leo, come here. Okay, so that's perfect. So you always have to have something like that included into every one of these family shoots. Perfect. This is another situation where the background looks great, but you guys, you kind of look like death out there. I mean, your face is green. You got all this green light from the tree coming in. I would love to have some fill. There's no LED. Just go quick. There's no quick. LED. Uh -uh. Come. Okay. Get in here. Come on, boy. Get in here. Good boy. Sit. Sit. Good boy. Good boy. Stay. Stay, Stay right good. there. Good. All right. Let's get happy, Katie. Having the time of our lives. Our hair is perfect. Hair is perfect. Yeah, it's so. You can Photoshop, right? Perfect. All right. So I do have one idea and one good reason to actually use a light panel. Let me flip this thing on. Because we're shooting with a light panel, we can actually record video. And so we can record a Facebook profile video for Christmas. So Katie, come over here. Leo, come here. I'm gonna pick you up even though you have poop all over you. All right, Katie, throw up some leaves and then look at the camera in three, two, one. Yeah. 
now. So overall, do you think this was a success? I don't know if it was a success. I think we, we got some pictures. We got my dog spazzing out and scratching me in the face. So somewhat of a success. There he is again. What do you think are the advantages of something like this? Uh, obviously, you're not going to be able to film video with a strobe. But also, if you're going to be taking still pictures, this is absurd. This is absolutely crazy. Right. It's just such a cumbersome system. I think also this is extremely bright and you have the flexibility of having a lot of different white balance colors that you can get. I know. I love that ability. And a lot of the other LED lights that we've used, they are more compact and easier to deal with, but they aren't bright at all. Yeah. This is one of the brightest lights that we own. So do you think that you're going to be uh, using this anytime soon for a portrait session? Definitely not for photos, but I think for video, I'm, I'm excited to get this back in the studio and, and start using this for just our daily productions. So guys, if you'd like to see more content like this every single day, head over to fstoppers.com. And if you'd like to check out our full length photography tutorials, head over to fstoppers.com slash store. Let's go have Christmas. It's Christmas time. Separately, not yes. together. Yes. As you probably know, our favorite constant lighting system of choice. Favorite constant. As you probably know, our hot light. As you probably know, our hot light. This is not looking good. Hot constant lighting system of choice. As you probably know, our constant lighting system of choice. I'm sorry. Mm, dude, I don't know what's going on. As you probably know, our favorite. Favorite constant lighting system. As you probably know, our favorite constant lighting system is the Westcott Flesk.